Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image opened up, the first thing I want you to do is to duplicate your background layer. Next, click on the Adjustments tab and choose Gradient Map. Click inside the default gradient bar to select your own gradient colors. Let's pick a gradient from the Presets window. I'm going to select something from the Blues dropdown. Play around with different colors and choose something you like. If you want to customize your colors further after you select a preset, click on the Color Stop box and choose a different color from the Color Picker window. Note you have two different Color Stop boxes, one on the left and the other one on the right. To increase the contrast, I'm going to change the right hand side color and make it a little bit lighter. You can also move the color midpoint slider left or right depending on the look you're going for. If you want to go one step further and say restrict the gradient map to just part of your image, you can do so by adding a layer mask. Let's take a look. First, let's delete the default layer mask. Next, I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangle to cover part of my image. Now all you have to do is click on the Add Layer Mask button and you're done. Let me show you one more example with another way of applying the duotone effect. As always, let's start with duplicating our background layer. Right click on the background copy and convert to Smart Object so we can modify it non-destructively. Now double click on the icon to open this image in a brand new tab. Next click on Image from the top menu and select Grayscale from the Mode dropdown. Let's discard the color information. And now if you go back to the Mode dropdown, Duotone will be available. So click on it. From the Preset dropdown, play around with different presets and choose one that you like. You can also click on the color and change to a different color variation to your liking. Next, click on File, Save to save this tab and go back to your original tab. Now it's time to apply the Curves Adjustment layer. To increase the contrast, I'll start by clicking on Auto in the RGB channel. Play around with the control points on the curve to adjust the contrast further. Next, you can go to individual red, blue, and green channels and adjust the colors until you find something that meets your requirement. Finally, let's look at the before and after. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.